Welcome to Reading is Instrumental. I'm Joseph Young. I'm the conductor of the Berkeley Symphony. Some of you may be wondering, what does a conductor do? Well, the conductor is the person who stands in front of all the musicians and leads or directs the orchestra in a performance. I like to think that an orchestra is like a family. A musical family sometimes made up of over a hundred musicians on stage. The Berkeley Symphony is my musical family. Our musicians are some of the best at what they do and they dedicate their whole life to music making. But that's not all. They're also athletes, they're teachers, they're volunteers, they're pet owners like me and you, and they all live in the Bay Area. So if you're out and about and you meet one of them, make sure you say hello. Now, today I chose this book because it celebrates family. The book we're going to read today is My Family Plays Music by Judy Cox and illustrated by Elbright Brown. This is such a colorful book. It's a celebration of family, a celebration of diversity, creativity, and collaboration. In the book, everyone in the family makes music. Everyone makes music in a different way, and it reminds me of all my talented musicians in the Berkeley Symphony. So, let's start. My Family Plays Music by Judy Cox. This is my family. We all love music. You can probably see a trumpet. Even their dog plays music. A saxophone. Someone sings. This is my mom. She plays fiddle in a country and western band. She plays in honky-tonks and sings sad songs about broken hearts while people dance real slow. When I play with her, I play the tambourine. You know, this reminds me of a fiddle player I know in the Berkeley Symphony. Do you want to hear a little from her? Let's hear from our fiddle player, Emanuela. Thank you, Emanuela. Let's continue with the book. 
Oh. This is my dad. He plays cello in a string quartet. He plays on stage at Symphony Hall in a black tail coat and a white bow tie. You can see our two violins, our viola, and our cello player, her dad. This would make up a string quartet. When I play with him, I play the triangle. You know, we have cello players in my musical family as well. I would love to introduce you to him. Isaac, can you play us something beautiful on your cello? This is my sister, Emily. She plays clarinet in the marching band. We cheer and wave as she struts down Main Street in the big parade. When I play with her, I play the cymbals. Here's our marching band, all of our drums. Do you know what a clarinet sounds like? They can make beautiful and smooth, mellow sounds, but they can also be a bit jazzy. Here is Ginny on the clarinet. This is my brother, Paul. He plays lead guitar in a rock and roll band. He wiggles and he spins and he shakes when he plays for the dance in the high school gym. When I play with him, I play the cowbell. And we can always use a lot of cowbell. This is my aunt Saffron. She plays vibes in a jazz combo. She plays soft, cool sounds at the Blue Note Club. Her hands dance the mallets up and down the bars. Pong, pong, ping. When I play with her, I play the wood block. Here she is on the wood block. You know, we have vibes or vibraphone in my musical family as well. It's an instrument made of metal and in the percussion family. Just like the piano, it has a lot of keys. But instead of playing it with our fingers, we hit it with sticks we call mallets. Oh, percussionist Ward, can you play us some reading music from your vibes?
This is my Uncle Woody. He plays saxophone in a big band. He blows swing tunes at the Paragon Ballroom while dancers glide beneath the flashing mirror ball. When I play with him, I play the maracas. This is my grandma. She plays banjo in a bluegrass band. She picks mountain melodies for folks who sit on folding chairs and tap their toes to the spunky beat. When I play with her, I play the jug. If you have a jug laying around your home, you guys can play with grandma as well. This is my grandpa. He plays tuba in a polka band. He dresses in lederhosen and a hat with a feather. His cheeks puff out round and red as he blows oompa, oompa. Can you guys all puff out your cheeks? When I play with him, I play the rhythm sticks. This is my great-grandmother. She plays the pipe organ in St. Peter's Cathedral. On Sunday morning, we sit straight and still as she pumps out music that swell like waves. When I play with her, I play the handbell. You can see the majestic organ right here. And there she is playing the handbell. This is my cousin, Dean. He plays the bongo at the Fool Ear Cafe. He slips his drum between his knees and wraps and pats them with his hands, keeping the beat while people recite poems that don't rhyme. When I play with him, I play wind chimes. This is my niece, Sadie. She plays pots and pans, drumming on them with a wooden spoon. She plays loud. When I play with her, I play the big soup kettle. This is me. I play tambourine, triangle, cymbal, cowbell, woodblock, maracas, rhythm sticks, handbell, wind chimes, and soup kettle. Daddy says I'm a percussionist. This is my family. They're all here dancing. We all love different kinds of music, but we all love one another. And when we come together, we celebrate. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book, but also hearing a bit from the musicians from the Berkeley Symphony. Just like her family, we all love different kinds of music and we love sharing it with all of you. Now, if you enjoyed this book and you would love to read it again, you're in luck. Your library can have the book for you to check out through curbside, pickup, or online. Thank you all for joining me and the Berkeley Symphony today. And thank you for watching. Reading is instrumental. Take care, everyone.